Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's Atlantic Basin Tropical Update. So we have the potential to see a tropical storm developing in the Caribbean over the next few days. As of 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday, November 11th, 2023, a broad area of low pressure is forecast to form in the southwestern Caribbean Sea around the middle of next week. Thereafter, environmental conditions appear conducive for gradual development, and a tropical depression could form late next week as the system drifts northeastward in the Caribbean Sea. Formation chance through 48 hours is low near 0%, but formation chance through 7 days is medium at 40%. So if you live in Jamaica, in Cuba, the Bahamas, and Hispaniola, and the Cayman Islands, as well as Nicaragua, Honduras, and Costa Rica, I'd be watching this system closely over the next seven days. Looking at the 18Z run of the GFS model, uh, the GFS model indicates a system developing, uh, well, not developing, but a tropical wave somewhere around Co Costa Rica and Honduras by Monday. And then as we go into Tuesday, we see this tropical wave bring extremely heavy rain to portions of Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. And this goes all the way through Wednesday as we see uh, the GFS struggling to organize a system, but what we're going to be seeing is tons of flooding rainfall across portions of Nicaragua and Honduras Wednesday, and then this rain's going to push into Jamaica as we go into Thursday and Friday, and across Haiti and the Dominican Republic and eastern Cuba as we go into Friday as well. Lasting through Saturday, very heavy rain across Hispaniola and moving into Puerto Rico as we go into Saturday and Sunday. And eventually, we see whatever system develops, potentially a tropical storm, get kicked out to sea as we go into Sunday, November the 19th, and Monday, November the 20th. So looking at the European model, European model, the 12Z run. 12Z run of the European model shows a little development, but just relentless rain across much of Central America uh, from now through Tuesday, even into Wednesday and Thursday, just relentless rain. And then eventually the European model tries to spin something up by Friday, November the 17th. And then we see this potential tropical storm by Sunday, November the 19th, about eight days from now, start to get uh, picked up to the east-northeast and maybe even stall out. As we go into November the 20th and the 21st, however, this is too far out to know for sure where this is going to be going. Uh, make sure you're really preparing for flooding rainfall if you live across Costa Rica, Honduras, Nicaragua, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, into Cuba, Hispaniola, even the Bahamas and Puerto Rico from this. And looking at the Canadian model, the Canadian model also shows similar solution to the Euro not really developing anything, but bringing torrential rain to most of Central America through Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, through uh, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, we see potentially a spin-up in the Canadian model by Sunday, November the 19th. And once again, the Canadian kind of stalls the system out through next Tuesday, November the 21st. And this leads me to my biggest concern with the system. This is going to be the flooding rainfall. Looking at the GFS model, over the next uh, 10 days or so, much of Costa Rica, Panama, you can expect to see anywhere between 5 and 10 inches of rain. And wherever the system uh, moves on shore temporarily or hugs the coast, you could be seeing as much as 10 to 20 inches of rain over the next 10 days. And this could lead to some very dangerous flooding across portions of eastern Honduras and Nicaragua. Going to Jamaica, you could see as much as 6 to 15 inches of rain over the next 10 days in GFS model. And Haiti, you could also see a good 7 to 20, 26 inches of rain in some areas. This would cause some very dangerous flooding across portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So make sure you're preparing for uh, dangerous flooding if you live in these areas over the next 10 days. Puerto Rico about 3 to 5 inches, the Bahamas even about 3 to 6 inches, and then eastern Cuba about 2 to 6 inches.
and looking at the European model, the European model is showing similar rainfall accumulations across Panama, Costa Rica, uh, Nicaragua, and Honduras, even Belize of about 2 to 10 inches on average. Same with Haiti and the Dominican Republic with a little less rain of about 2 to 6 inches, Jamaica about 1 to 2 inches in the European model, and the Bahamas about 2 to 5 inches, as well as um, Puerto Rico of about 2 to 3 inches in the Euro. And looking at the Canadian model, and uh, the Canadian model is brought, once again bringing extreme rainfall to Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, even into areas of Belize of about 6 to 12 inches with pockets as much as 20 inches of rain. And then with uh, Jamaica, about 2 to 5 inches. Same with the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola, pockets as high as 6 inches in the Canadian model. Same with the Bahamas, about 3 to 6 inches of rain. Puerto Rico, about 2 to 5 inches just south of the island. And then Cuba, 2 to 5 inches in the Canadian model. So the bottom line is, regardless of development, this system is going to be bringing catastrophic life-threatening flooding to most of Central America, potentially Jamaica, uh, portions of Cuba, Haiti, the, the Dominican Republic, maybe even the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. So make sure you're preparing for this very dangerous flooding over the next 7 to 10 days if you live in these areas. Thanks for watching this evening's Atlantic Tropical Update. Please stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.